Hey folks, a programme that I saw last night has been on my mind all day. I mean, it's only midday now, I think. I think it's midday. Anyway, um, I was downloading some music and it was on in the background, so I don't know what channel it was on. I don't even know the name of it, but I could just tell you about it And in case you didn't see it. It was on, I think it was on around midnight, and it was a true story about this young man... He was living with his family, stepfather and everything, and he got a moped, and with the moped he decided to do a bit of Korean work, and I think it was City Sprint that was was shown, it was featured. Anyway, the long on the long and short of it was, he wasn't getting paid much money because it was more or less as good as. Um, What's that? Zero, zero hour contract sort of thing. It was more or less as good as that. So he wasn't earning that much money. And unfortunately, he incurred two fines. One was a bus lane and, and one was um, an illegal right turn. Now, because he didn't get paid much money, he, he, he couldn't really afford the discount rate. Where he made his mistake, he didn't talk to his parents about it. He buried it and it spiraled out of control the the fines increased increased until it got to the point where bailiffs were sent round okay by that time the cat was out the bag and he had two sets of fines um just over 500 pound each but with the total cost with the ba uh, bailiffs it came up to like call it uh, about just just short of £1,400. Anyway, his stepfather sorted out the first fine, which was about £507 or something like that. Anyway, so the next, the mission was to sort out the next next part. So the bailiffs agreed to do instalments and payment plan, yada, yada, yada. Okay, he fell out with the controller at work. Not, not, basically, he was just too ill to do one particular job on a controller took it out of him and didn't give him much work, so spite, spited him. The consequence of that was things was getting more out of control. And in the end, this is a true story. Remember, this is a true story. In the end, the poor man couldn't take any more. He, he was looking at all these, these sites about people who's in debt and everything. And um, he kept it to himself and he ended up hanging himself in a park. True story, guy committed suicide. It's been bugging me all day, you know? I mean, I always make it very clear to my kids, you know, if you have any problems, please approach me. I don't care how much of a pain in the ass the problem is, you know, my door is always open to all of you. Please, please approach me. And um, so, the purpose of this video now is um, if you haven't given that invitation to your kids, please make sure they do approach you if there's any problems. Because, wow, had he just spoke to his parents, because when, when he disappeared to, to go and hang himself, obviously he didn't come, come home that night. And the mum you know, rang him up, left messages on his voicemail. And she said, look, you know, don't worry about the money because she knew he had problems because the bailiff came around the second time and she knew he had a little bit of problems. He said, don't worry about the money. We'll sort it out. But by then it was too late. He already hanged himself. Yeah. So it's been on my mind all day, you know, so, um, it's not worrying me. It's just, it's just the sadness of it has been on my mind. The sadness that something so simple spiral spiraled out of control and had he just spoke to his parents had he just spoke out it all could have been avoided you know and that's the kind of emphasis you know encourage just encourage your kids if you haven't done so already and um, you probably have but just reiterate reiterate it to them please approach you if there's any problems please please okay that's my little um it was too much to write in a comment it was way, way too much right in the comments saying it was easier to make a video. Okay, folks, hope you're having a good day. And I will no doubt leave a comment tomorrow on Facebook. Okay, okay, speak to you later. Bye.